Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, more or less picking up where we left off in the last video, which is um, we took out the 1.2 interior loom, um, swapping it over to the GTI loom for like to do the swap for the 1.8. Um, so we have the GTI loom completely labeled. We know roughly where everything goes. There's about five clips. I don't know what they plug into, but I know roughly where they go in the car just by other plugs that are along with them. Um, so gonna make a start today, try to get this interior loom in. More or less this is gonna be over like two days because I've already got a couple of hours here today um, and then probably come back tomorrow and finish it off. So first things first, I'm probably gonna try and just feed um, this is, you can see here the fuse box um, and things like that, um, where all the relays are. That needs to go in behind the dash, but you need to feed through basically everything that goes to the back of the car. It's kind of like this area. Um, that all needs fed through um, and behind the dash and then fed like, round to the back before we can bolt back up the fuse box. So I'm going to make a start on that and see how we get on. Note on um, whenever I was taking out the 1.2 loom, the CCM, which is essentially like, uh, I guess you could call it like the, I don't know what CCM exactly sounds for, I think it's like it's car control mods or something like that. Um, essentially like controls everything on the interior of the car. That's um, the one from the 1.2. I don't actually have the one from the 1.8 uh, from the GTI. And unfortunately he's actually uh, binned it. So gonna have to try and source a new CCM um, and the rest of the parts should be getting shipped this week. So we should have the gearbox and things like that. Um, only other thing that we need to get done this week before we can like try and actually put the engine in before the gearbox and stuff arrives is we need to take the turbo off. Um, off of the this 1.8 and off of that 1.8 and swap them around, hoping that the one in the TT is actually decent. It'll be quite hard to see, but you might be able to hear it. There's actually quite a bit of play in the turbo on the 1.8 from the GTI, uh, which is a KO3S turbo. This TT actually happens to run a KO3S as well. Um, essentially, it's a, a more or less exact same platform. So hoping that the turbo is decent in the TT, otherwise we're gonna have to send off uh, the turbo from either or really um, and get it reconditioned which isn't too expensive it's just it's going to take up more time so I'll probably do that later this week but let's jump straight back in and get this uh, interior room in have the I guess like first half or section of the loom kind of oh it's raining really really heavy and thunder outside but more or less have the first like section of the loom um, sort of in place and what way it's meant to go um, so we're at the stage now where this essentially all needs to sit up in above the steering column um, this section here uh, is sitting roughly where it needs to go and the same with the far side uh, needs to go about another foot, but as you can see, once um, this main section of the fuse box and the plugs that go into uh, the engine bay, once they're all in place, then everything else should more or less um, have enough room to move. So I'm going to continue on, try and get this section up in there, which is kind of the most awkward bit because uh, the amount of cables here and um, it's actually quite tight for room in there as well. So try to get this up in and then should be able to hopefully start like plugging things back in to roughly where they should be. So guys, since the last clip that like you've just seen, um, it's actually now the next day. Um, haven't, didn't really, haven't done anything more or less since uh, the last clip. Um, tied up a few of the, a few of the cables going around the dash. Um, but more or less today, I've only got uh, another few hours here 
um, but I want to try and get finished routing around all the cables in around the dash. Um, so down in the center console, around the heater matrix and in around the steering wheel. So gonna through the camera, probably do another time lapse here because it's, it's I can't hold the, the phone or camera at the same time as um, trying to you know feed all the cables through. So going through it on time lapse now and we'll check back in a bit. <laughs> Last part of the loop we need to run is more or less down the driver's side going to the tail light as well as the impact sensor and airbag sensor. So for the driver's seat. So we're gonna run this part down. Only a little bit left after that is the ones going up to the head cloth, but I need to drop the head cloth down because last time it, whenever I was taking the 1.2 out, I literally just cut them because I didn't have time to drop the head cloth. So gonna run this side of the loom and then i'll probably call it a day at that there and then drop the head cloth maybe tomorrow as well as probably start changing out front hubs So guys, gonna call it a day at that there. Um, I've got the whole interior loom basically all in. Um, well, at least all routed to where it's meant to go. Um, except for going up over the head cloth, but we're gonna fix that at a later stage because I need to drop the head cloth out because it's gonna be getting re-trimmed anyway. Um, but everything else is more or less all clipped. They're sitting in the correct location of where it needs to go. So make sure you check out the next video where I'm gonna be changing out the front hubs um, to GTI hubs. <laughs>